Thank you, Luke, for your assistance. I must say, Mr. Robert's office gives a sense of power and success with its minimalistic decor. The man behind the desk was currently focused on signing the documents in front of him. Emma thought the mole on his right earlobe made him look really handsome and sexy, especially when paired with his serious expression. While she was admiring him in work mode, Eric lifted his head and noticed her. Go take a seat on the sofa. Luke, prepare some English black tea and pastries. Also, grab a blanket on your way back. Yes, sir. Luke entered the office with the pastries, tea, and blanket. He handed the blanket to Eric, who immediately covered Emma's legs with it. The air conditioner is a bit strong. Don't let me distract you. Go finish your work while I enjoy the view. The view? Yes. I love watching you work. Emma watched Eric working and eventually fell asleep. Everyone was shocked when they walked in and saw Emma sleeping on the couch. Emma was sleeping peacefully and had no idea her presence was throwing Kaleidoscope into a frenzy. After finishing work, Eric carried Emma down to his Rolls Royce. She woke up after he placed her in the car. Oh, did you finish your work? Yes. What would you like to eat? You pick. Eric decided to cook rather than take Emma to a restaurant. She watched him for a minute before walking up and hugging him from behind. You're so good to me. You're easy to take care of. A simple dinner touches you and puts a smile on your face. Emma's hand slipped under his shirt and caressed his muscular chest. I'm hungry, Eric. Dinner is almost ready. I'm hungry for you, not the food. Without a word, Eric stopped what he was doing, turned around, and picked her up, carrying her out of the kitchen. He had a request to fulfill. What his beautiful wife wanted, she got. I looked at the guest list for the gala. It looks like you and Amber were both invited. The Bright Night Gala? Clearly, Global had no intention of telling you about it. I have a feeling you weren't supposed to find out. Emma's face immediately got filled with worries. Eric wasted no time in soothing his wife's tension. I think you should remain clueless. Don't tip your hand. Let them think they've won. And on the night of the gala, I'll arrange for both a car and a red carpet escort. You've considered all the possibilities and knew they would try something like this. Don't let it upset you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Their plan probably would have worked if not for you. You do have me, so you'll never have to find out. Emma wrapped her arms tightly around him. He was her safe space. The next morning, Emma walked into Global with Lisa. Nathan sat up straight as he saw Emma in his office. Are you going to continue working once your collaboration with ISN is done? You had a lot of magazine and endorsement offers. Have you made a decision? I want to work with Top Trends Quarterly. Are you sure? Why do you want to work with a failing magazine? I'm sure. With Amber receiving an award, I know you'll be using every resource at your disposal to support her. I'm sure you'll have your hands full and won't have any reason to interfere with my job, right? Are you afraid the board members will reject it? If you want to do it, then do it. I'll convince the board members. Though I hope you're aware of the dangerous decision you're making. I'm aware, and I'm not worried. Emma turned to leave as if she had nothing left to say. Emma, are you that desperate to destroy your career? I didn't think you'd make our wishes come true that easily. Emma paused and turned her head slightly. I think you should be less concerned about me and more concerned about you and Amber. Emma, you should be happy with what you have. Amber won on her hard work. Stop trying to get revenge. She paused briefly, her gaze falling on the bin in his office. Her gala invite was still in it, but she could see it had been torn to pieces. Was that his version of revenge? Nathan, can you honestly say you've been fair to me? I just want to be treated with respect. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Nathan blinked slowly as he tried to follow her gaze. Unfortunately, she'd already turned away. He found himself staring at the back of her head instead. Is it possible she already knows about her invitation to the gala? Emma didn't wait for his reply and headed for the main entrance. However, Amber, who was still strutting around Global, stopped her at the front door. Well, if it isn't New York's newest up-and-coming model, <laughs> you're just so popular these days. Move. <laughs> I received an invitation to the Bright Night Gala. I'm sure even you can understand how important the gala is to a model's career. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Did nobody invite you? Amber's humiliation didn't stop there. She pulled out her invitation, waving it in Emma's face. How sad you don't have an invitation or a manager. Who will negotiate your contracts now? Emma remained calm as Amber continued to lean on her and gloat. 
Once she finally stopped talking, Emma leaned in, a slight smile on her face as she whispered. So, tell me, is the judge's bed softer than Nathan's? The Bright Night Gala and my non-existent manager should be the least of your worries. You should be more concerned with hiding the smell of deceit clinging to you. How long do you think it will take before Nathan figures it out? A guilty look crossed Amber's face. Emma laughed as she pushed her aside and walked out of Global, leaving her cursing behind her. You look quite excited. What's going on? I'm taking you somewhere. Lisa drove toward downtown New York, parked, and led Emma to one of the most expensive brand name stores in the city. Why did you bring me here? We're buying your battle gear. Before Emma could ponder on Lisa's words, she saw Eric coming out from the VIP area wearing a dark blue suit and a seductive smile. Eric! Global may not want you to attend the Bright Night Gala, but I plan on making you the center of attention. I thought you were busy at work. I will never be too busy for you. By the way, did I tell you that I'm the gala's special guest? Emma was stunned for a moment before shaking her head. She didn't know why she was surprised. Kaleidoscopes won a lot of awards, so of course he'd be there. This will be our first time sharing a stage since we got married. I brought you here because they've just released a series of designs, and there's only one of each. It's going to be an important night for us. So, sounds like you've already picked some outfits out? Emma never expected him to be so thoughtful. She had no doubt that he had everything prepared and ready to go. Follow me. Eric grabbed her hand and pulled her towards the dressing room. As she walked behind the partition, she gasped, stunned, as she got her first look at the dress on the mannequin. Go ahead, try it on. Emma tried her best to hold back tears. Her hands trembled as she removed the dress from the mannequin. She'd been a model for several years and had worn thousands of beautiful clothes. But this was the first time a piece of clothing made her feel like crying. Wow, this is such a beautiful color. The cut of the dress accentuates me in all the right places. Its slender form, elegant pearls woven in instead of crystals makes me look like a goddess. Eric changed into his suit and stepped out behind her. He was wearing a gray retro style handmade suit with a leopard print tie and a matching handkerchief in his breast pocket. He looked like an English aristocrat. Emma grabbed his hand as she studied them in the mirror. We look like the perfect couple. What do we do if someone puts two and two together? What will happen at the gala? Will anyone recognize Eric and Emma as husband and wife? How will Nathan and Amber react once they see this charming couple at the event? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.